Hi guys, my name is Solomon Qureshi and today we're going to talk about VLOOKUP. Yes, today we are going to look up only partially matched values. I will call it a crazy lookup. So normally what happens is we have a VLOOKUP. For example, in this case, I've already applied. So we can see over here is equal to VLOOKUP. And we have a value over here. This is one. And we need to figure it out from a table that is A and B. From B, I will find out the other one. And there you go. Simple as that. So in this case, we have a corresponding number against the F1. But F1 is pretty much matching with A1. So it's pretty simple to VLOOK up a matching value and then take out the corresponding numbers. But it can be crazy and difficult when you have partially matching numbers or values and then you have to look up with reference to those values for example in this case we have these store names and these store ids so for example some person came and he gave me this uh, particular store name or part of this store name which is piku1 and he also have a space in between then another one we have the store name and there's a space in between and from the last i will choose this one and there's a space in between so now this is by no means matching over here but if we remove this space then it will match part of the string and we have to pick up this string and then according to this string we'll have to pick up this store id so before i start proceeding with the solution i would like to make it easy for you. And for making it easy, I would like to introduce you to another formula that is a substitute formula. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine an index match with the substitute formula to make it happen for us. So for that reason, I will quickly introduce you to the substitute um, formula. So that is, is equal to substitute and then uh, we start the parenthesis and we take the text. So for example, this one, and now I want to remove this space between P, I, C, O, and one, because if we see on our table, it's without a space. So for that reason, I'll have to call for, you can see over here, uh, it is two commas and there's a space in between, which means this is the old text and old text means it's a space. So Excel is reading it as a space and this two commas without a space is a no space. So what I'm asking Excel is that you should remove this space from this cell and replace it with no space. So when I press enter, you see now Pico has been replaced with Pico one means there's a space which has been removed. Now it is Pico one, which is pretty much matching with the Pico one over here. So you see, so this is a formula that um, I wanted you to introduce with before we start. And uh, we, we, if, we, if we do a little bit more mathematics with this, a little bit more uh, playing with the same formula, uh, what I will do is I will put or add uh, something like how we call it static sign. So I will again uh, put two commas before the substitute formula and I will put a static sign over here which is like this. Now we have a static sign and AND sign, if you remember, this is the sign for combining the strings. So I put an AND over here. And then at the end, I will, after the finishing of this formula, I'll put another AND and I will put two commas over here as well. So in the commas, I will put again a static. So there we go. Sorry, there's the wrong one. There's the static. So if I put, now it's reading a statement, which means two wild cards at the end and start of this particular word, which we need to find out. So now somehow, if you see what I've written down is that I've instructed Excel to use these two um, wild cards to find out this number. So this is just an instruction to the to Excel to make this text. So we'll use this in the formula, but this is just for the sake of your understanding that how I'm making a string out of it, which states that this is two statics and in between a text means everything before and everything after should be included. So every uh, a cell which has, I don't know what before Pico and I don't know what after Pico, but there is a Pico in between. So this is the language of Excel where I'm telling Excel that you need to find Pico only in this string. So now I will, I will rather move 
to the formula that I want to uh, map over here, uh, which is actually index and match. But in this index and match, I will also use this particular uh, statement. So this statement was for, uh, I will say, an introduction. So now we'll go to the real formula. I hope you understood this uh, function of this substitute uh, and using this to wildcards because we'll use it for looking up in this column. So let's start with it guys. And uh, first of all, whenever you start a formula, you start with is equal to sign, is equal to index. And uh, I will start parenthesis. I will put the first, very first, uh, uh, I will say column of the table where I want to look up. So that is starting from A3. And I will make uh, this A3 into a uh, F4 sign uh, with the dollars to make it constant. And uh, I will also uh, take the next range with a column. So apologies for the text message in between, guys. So the limit of this is A20. So I will take it till A20 and I will press F4 again. So it is, it is limited now. It has been limited and fixed. So this is what I want to we look up or look up now i will uh, write rest of the formula which is match so with the match now i will come to the formula play part where we did so we look up value now if you can see on the screen we look up value so if we look up value is pick one so we need to remove this space number one number two we have to instruct excel that we look up pick one in this particular column and then whatever is behind or after this pick one, I don't care. I want this pick one, wherever it is, pick it up and then uh, we'll work with the rest of the formula. So for that reason, if you remember what we did was, yes, comma, steric, again, comma, close, and you remember, and sign, yes, and sign, and then formula, sub D subs, Dude. This is the formula. Then I will start parenthesis again. Now I will give uh, a value that we need to find out. So the value was D1, if you remember. Oh, sorry. In this case, it's D3. So D3. Now I've selected the cell. Now we'll close uh, the cell selection. And then I will tell them that there's a gap. If there's a gap, remove that gap. So for that reason, if you remember, we uh, wrote down <clears throat> space, and then comma, then close, replace with two commas. This is how we did it, if you remember. Now I will close this uh, uh, parenthesis. And by closing, I'm also putting an and sign. And by putting an and sign, we need to tell it the next static as well, if you remember. So the next static comes up here. There you go. So our search is now limited to this static pick one static, which means whatever the 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 cell which contains pick one and any text that should be selected. So now we have got the selection. Now from where uh, we will pull this? That is definitely uh, the column B. So we will tell a limit of the column B as well. So as we did for A, we'll do for B as well. B three. Again, we have to freeze it. I've frozen it. Now I will go um, to the next one. And the next one is B20. So the B20 is also frozen with F4 function key. Now that's it. I have given everything which is required. I will put a zero over here. So the zero is exact match. So I want to match exactly with pick one. So on this, I would like to close the parenthesis formula is complete the magic will happen let's see how it works so the moment i pressed it you see it is picking up the numbers that are really against this pico one you can see pico one and the number behind this pico one so this is how it works if i drag it down one of four one of four correct and one zero one six 1016, solo two, correct. So you see, guys, we didn't have a matching number over here or matching value or a matching text, but 
we managed to do this. So for that reason, I have this formula. The formula is on your screens. You can see it, you can write it, you can copy it, and you can use it for your own convenience. I hope this was useful, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to talk to you again. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.